Hi friends, so in this video I am going to discuss about principles of metallurgy chapter in one shot. So the important terms in metallurgy chapter is metallurgy, mineral, ore, gangu, flux, slag. Now what is metallurgy? Metallurgy means extraction and purification of metal from ore. Okay. Mineral means the natural substances which are available in the earth crust are called as what? Minerals. The minerals from which metals can be extracted economically and conveniently call them as what? Ores. <coughs> Gangu. Earth impurities associated with ore called as what? Gangu. Flux means the chemical substance which is used to remove Gangu particles from ore called as what? Flux. Okay. Flux are of two types acidic flux basic flux okay so acidic flux means the chemical substance which is acidic in nature and which is used to remove basic gangue impurities basic flux means which is basic in nature and which is used to remove acidic impurities slag which is formed by the combination of flux interacting with gangue and forms a single product we call them as what slag so the properties of slag is fusible moss in nature and which is floating on the surface of the liquid and which can easily removed with the help of what paddles see here coming to the examples so calcium oxide is the basic flux which is interacting with acidic impurities acidic gang impurities and forms calcium silicate this is what slag okay silica SiO2 acidic flux which is interacting with basic gangu impurities and forms iron silicate which is called as here slag. Next topic extraction of metals from the ores. Okay. Under this there are four steps are involved. The first one is concentration of ore or dressing of ore. Under this category the five methods are there hand picking method, hydraulic washing method, fruit flotation process magnetic separation and leaching method okay now coming to the principles of all these methods okay if ore and gangu differ in color size and shape you should use hand picking method if ore and gangu differ in density then you should use hydraulic washing method if ore and gangu differ in wetting properties you should use froth flotation process if ore and gangu differ in magnetic properties you should use magnetic separation method if ore and gangu differ in chemical properties you should use leaching method okay and this Hand picking method is mainly used for gold ores and this hydraulic washing method is mainly used for oxide ores or carbonate. Now coming to the froth flotation process is mainly used for sulphide ores. Okay, examples for sulphide ores are PBS, Galena, HGS, Cinnabar, Copper Iron Pirates. Okay, now coming to the magnetic separation method, hematite and magnetite which are mainly used for magnetic separation method. Okay. And our leaching method, leaching method which is used for bauxite ore purification. Okay, here the chemical reagent which is used for bauxite ore is sodium hydroxide. Next method, conversion of ore into oxides. Okay, so under this category, there are two methods we are using. One is roasting, other one is what calcination. Both are pyrochemical processes. In this process, ore is heated in presence of oxygen below its melting point that is called roasting. In calcination, ore is heated in absence of oxygen below its melting point we call it as what calcination. This roasting is mainly used for sulphide ores and this calcination is mainly used for carbonate ores and both roasting and calcinating we are performing in reverberatory furnaces. Now coming to the third step that is the reduction of oxides into metals. Okay, here we are carrying reduction in four methods. One is smelting and the other one is thermite process, add to self reduction, electrolytic reduction. Okay, in smelting process that metal oxide what we are getting in the second step we are heating with coke or charcoal. Okay, then we will get metal. Okay, now this process we are carried out 
in the presence of blast furnace okay coming to the thermite process in thermite process this metal oxide we are heating with a reaction metal that is aluminium and here we are checking or using 3 is to 1 ratio okay now this 3 is to 1 ratio we call them as thermite mixture and this thermite process mainly used for railway trucks welding and this method developed by goldsmith and that's why it's called as gold goldsmith aluminum thermite process okay now coming to the auto self reduction process here metal oxide is heated okay okay that metal oxide itself acts as self reducing agent and under heating it is converting into metal okay here this method mainly uh, applicable for lead oxide and mercury oxide now coming to the loss method electrolytic reduction method and this is mainly applicable for highly reactive metal oxides or chlorides hydroxides like sodium potassium magnesium calcium aluminum okay these are the metal chlorides or oxides or hydrates or chlorides they undergo electrolytic reduction and from that we will get what a metal okay though these are the four uh, reduction steps now comes under the last method purification of crude metal this is we call it as a refining so refining is carried out in five ways distillation liquidation pooling cupellation electrolytic refining so now comes under the now coming to the principles of all these methods okay and a distillation the principle is both metal and impurities they are differ in their boiling points okay so here low boiling point metal we are separating from high boiling point impurity and a distillation process okay in liquidation process low melting point metal we are separating from high melting point impurity okay now coming to the pooling method here metal oxide itself as present as impurity suppose for example in copper and copper oxide okay here copper is metal and copper oxide is impurity now this copper oxide we are separated with the help of pole pole means bamboo sticks that bamboo sticks contain what hydrocarbon so here methane that methane when it is interacting with impurity that is CO2O and that here the CH4 methane act as reducing agent now the CH4 acts abstract oxygen from this and converting this copper oxide into what copper and this ch4 is converting into car first carbon monoxide then carbon dioxide like this we are converting impurity oxides into pure metal okay this is called pooling method in cupellation process we are checking both metal and impurity in a cupel cupel means the boat shaped one okay so here let's and silver okay here silver is my metal and lead is impurity now both are heating in the presence of reverberatory furnace so here lead is interacting with oxygen and forms lead oxide that lead oxide we call them as litharge now this lead oxide has a volatile impurity and which can is escaped now we will get only pure silver metal so this is cupellation method so cupellation method is mainly used for purification of silver okay now coming to the electrolytic refining in electrolytic refining this pure metal we are used as a cathode and impure metal we are used as anode and the salt that salt we are salt solution and here we are using that own metal salt solution we are using as an electrolyte and these two uh, pure metal and impure metal both are connected to battery now we are supplying electricity and at cathode we will get what pure metal okay this is called electrolytic refining okay this is nothing but metallurgy extraction and purification of metal is nothing but what metallurgy okay this is one shot video